There's yet another way to time subtitles that's a little different from what we've seen so far. With this technique, you only use the spacebar. It only works when the video is running. You press and hold the spacebar to set the in cue, then you release it to set the out cue. Let's take the video from last lesson and try out this technique. Let's open the answer key for exercise 1 from the previous lesson. And now we're going to do two things. First, we're going to delete all of the cues and leave the subtitles with only the text. So we go here to Titles, Delete. Which subtitles are we deleting? All of them. What are we deleting? Cues only. With in cue and out cue selected. Now we have just the text. We're going to time all of these using the spacebar. So I drag here to the beginning of the video with the mouse, but we can also use Alt Home. We want to make sure we're on the first subtitle. Since they don't have any cues, we could easily be on subtitle 3, and skipping to the beginning of the video wouldn't change that. We can just press page up until we go to subtitle 1, or control page up jumps to the first subtitle. Just to demonstrate the general technique here, the spacebar only works with the video rolling. When we press the spacebar, we set the in cue. When we release, we set the out cue. From now on, whenever I say press, I'm pressing the spacebar. Whenever I say release, I'm releasing the spacebar. So I'm going to play. Um, Mr. Press, Donovan, release. I apologize. Press, release. The landlord can't come Press, until later, so release. I'm going to... If I want a quick succession of chain subtitles, I'm going to have to release and press very quickly. Get some lunch. Would press, you like a sandwich? Release, sure. press, what kind of sandwich release, press, release, press, release, press, release, press, release, press, release. Now that's basically how it works. I'm going to undo several times to erase the timing. We're going to time the subtitles for real now. So, Alt Home, back to the beginning. Control Page Up to make sure we're on the first subtitle. And now let's time these subtitles. Press. Um, Mr. Donovan. Release press. I apologize. Release. Press. The landlord can't come until later, so I'm going to get some lunch. Would release you like press. Sandwich? Release sure. press. What kind of sandwich is least fattening? Release. A half press. sandwich. Usual salad. Release. What? A few of our cues here are maybe a little off, so we can adjust them as usual. Um, Mr. Donovan, I apologize. This is fine. The landlord can't come until later, so I'm going to get some lunch. Would you like a sandwich? This one is really late. Let's pull it back. Would you like a sandwich? Sure. This one too. Sure. What kind of sandwich is least fattening? A half sandwich? Usual salad. And that's it. That's the basic principle of how the space bar works. Now, there are two reasons we're including this shortcut in this tutorial. The first reason is that, especially when you're starting out, it's easy to reach for the spacebar when you want to play or pause the video, since the spacebar is such a common play-pause shortcut in other software. In other words, we're teaching you this technique so that you learn to avoid the spacebar when the video is playing. Second, because there is a situation where using the spacebar might be useful, timing song lyrics. The in cues and out cues are far more predictable, since you just follow the beat. Let's try it out. Let's open the exercise for this lesson, which is actually a song. Here we have the same situation as before. We have all of the subtitles with no cues. We're going to go back to the beginning of the video, Alt Home. Let's play the video just to get an idea of what the song sounds like. Right. Seems pretty regular. Let's go back to the beginning of the video and time the subtitles. We make sure that we're on subtitle 1. Same as before. When I press the spacebar, I'm going to say press, and when I release, I'll say release. Press. Release press. Release press. Release press. Release press. Release. Okay, I think that's enough to demonstrate. Now let's check our cues and see if our timing is accurate. This is coming in a little late. I think we can pull it back to the shot change. The 
Same thing here. It depends on what you hold. You this is coming in a little early. Where is it supposed to be? You Around here, right? You can play all night as long as chips are flying. He's within your side. And I think this is ending a little early. We could move it here, maybe. Let's see. And this is a little late. This is a little late. And that's the general idea. You can do this for the rest of the song. Your task is to time the rest of the song's lyrics. Compare the spacebar technique to the other shortcuts we've learned. Which do you prefer? Thank you.